We are here today in the jungle of Mexico in Tulum or Tulum. This is the upstairs apartment. So here we have, it appears to be a king size bed. We have a TV, no internet. They just had a hurricane. Hole in the floor. Don't point that out. What? No. <laughs> so in here you have your bathroom, your standard toilet, a nice shower. They do provide you with uh, toiletries, so you have some soaps and lotions. The ones downstairs are empty. <laughs> Can't be perfect. You have a little kitchenette, you have a microwave, you have a hot plate, your sink, some utensils. They technically call this the mother-in-law suite. I mean, it would work. You have a closet, which is nice. You don't get that a lot. It doesn't shut all the way. This little fan works excellent. It about blew me out of bed last night. <laughs> we all slept up here. We didn't want to leave the kids up here by themselves and the staircase and everything else. All right, so out here, which makes me nervous, out here you have two nice lounge chairs that you can come and set out if you want to get eat up by mosquitoes. Yes, there's a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> Whoever designed this property, there's a bunch of standing water everywhere in we'll the middle of the jungle. We'll show that to you downstairs. Yeah. To get into the front, well, we hope that the kids aren't killing each other, you go into your patio. You have a nice pool, which by the way, we tested out yesterday and everybody loved it. I don't like Very muy, muy fresca. Yes. Which is nice with the heat here. And the no. doors are very difficult oh, to open. Right. <laughs> so we've been here for since yesterday. Our house has exploded. Um, in here is the living room. The internet's not working. That's not their fault. Um, they did have a hurricane the day before we got here. One day to be exact. Literally one day. Okay, so here we have the kitchenette or the kitchen. You have a hot plate. You have a bunch of dishes that you can use. A microwave. Um, you can make coffee if you want to. A blender for making margaritas. If All you the choose utensils. to do so. You have a full-size fridge. And another One thing I would highly advise is if you're coming here, pick up drink and food before you get here. There is nothing walkable in this area. No. Um, I did find out there's a bonus mini fridge in the living room. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. So here you have the other bathroom or your downstairs bathroom. Again, uh, the handles broke to the sink. Don't know if you noticed that. I did actually. There's no hot water. Oh, they said that we could ask for hot water if we wanted it, but you have to have a propane tank for that. Mm -hmm. So I just the shower has hot water though. So in here, this is the master bedroom, which is a smaller bed as you can see, and the kids. This door actually closes pretty good. You have your own washing machine. You don't need a dryer; just hang your clothes out. You have some storage space. Another closet with an ironing board. And that's about it for this jungle villa. That's about it. I will say that the air condition works well. Yes. You can oh, go to Instagram Mountains on the Move and you can see our photos we took We forgot place. to show you the pond outside. Oh yes, the mosquito breeding area. <laughs> okay, I'm not technically walking out there because I'm tired of getting bit by mosquitoes, but right here, directly beside our villa, is <laughs> swamp. Yes, and they're all over this property. Yeah, there is standing water like this everywhere on this property. And that will end our tour of this. There seems to be a total of 12 of these type uh, cabanas on this property. If you would like to see the rest of the Airbnbs that we stay at on this trip, give us a like, a follow, and a subscribe, and ring that bell. That way there you can keep up with everything that we do. Oh man, I hate this. You hate what? It's stairs in Mexico. These are actually nice ones. <laughs> compared to some that we've seen. Oh yeah, well, th these are way safer than the ones we did last time. <laughs>